Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about how to turn a simple plan like this into a hand drawn look like this and then how to add this watercolor effect into your drawing in Procreate. First tap the plus button at the top right corner to create a new canvas. Here you can write the dimensions for your canvas in millimeters, inches or pixels. You can also play with color profile, time lapse settings and canvas properties. For now, I only type down the dimensions for the canvas. Now, we can import our simple plan into this canvas to use as a reference. Hit the wrench icon at the top left, choose Add, and then insert a file. You can insert JPEG, PNG, PDF, and PSD files into Procreate. Once we import our plan, we go to Layers menu at top right corner, and decrease the opacity of this layer. Tap on the layer to rename, and then swipe left to lock it. Final preparation before starting to draw is to add a grid. If you want to work on scale, this is an important step. Go to wrench icon, choose canvas and toggle on the drawing guide. Then, tap the edit drawing guide button. Here, we can choose between different grids. For this drawing, we will be using the 2D grid. Tap on the grid size to customize the divisions according to your need. I will be choosing 10 to 10 millimeters here. If you grab the blue point in the middle of the canvas, you can control where your grid will start from exactly. You can also change the color and opacity of the grid however you want. I am choosing a blue color grid with 10 opacity. Tap the plus icon on layers menu to create a new layer to start drawing. I will be using the sketching pen brush. You can find this brush in the description box below. We will start with tracing the walls. While drawing, don't worry about having perfect straight lines. We are trying to create a sketchy hand-drawn look. You can also exaggerate the intersections of your lines. We will need nice enclosed areas in order to fill in between these lines. We continue like this until we trace all the wall and floor lines properly. Once we are done drawing, we will fill inside all the walls with solid black color. In order to use the paint bucket tool, grab the color circle from the top right corner and drop it inside the enclosed areas of wall lines. When it comes to doors and windows, you can simply continue tracing your original drawing. Even though we are going for a sketch-like look, I still like all of them to be the same and even. So, I will be using brushes to achieve this precision. If you want to do the same, you can find the doors and windows brush set in the description box below as well. Now, we are done with tracing and ready to continue with the interior. If you have an idea about how you would shape the interior, you can start sketching and design while drawing. In this video, I will be using the housing sketch brush set we prepared. You can find the link in the description box again. I am using the grid as a scale to find the right size for the brushes. Once I find the right size with one of them, I will use the same size for the others as well. 22 seemed to be the right size of brush for this drawing. I continue placing the furnitures. In the process, I am creating as many layers as possible, cause it is very helpful when I want to move or rotate an element individually. In order to select more than one layer, you can swipe those layers to right. This way you can select and arrange them together without necessarily merging them. While placing the furniture, don't be too hesitant. You can always change your mind and tap with two fingers to take back what you placed and continue with a different one. It is fun to experiment with different scenarios and layouts before settling into one. I continue experimenting and shaping the plan as I am drawing.
Once I feel that I am close to the finished look I want, I start adding little things like plants, carpets and other details to make it livelier. And when I am happy with the plan, I duplicate and merge all carpet layers. This will create a reference layer, which we will need while creating the floor patterns. Go to this merged layer and use automatic selection tool to choose the enclosed areas in between easily. Then you can use the floor pattern brushes to paint them. Adding floor patterns was the final step of the hand-drawn look. Now it is time for the watercolor effect on this drawing. We will use the watercolor brush which you can find in the description box below. The method is same as before. Select the reference layer and then go to automatic selection tool which will allow us to work within enclosed areas. Within the active selection boundary, we can start playing with the watercolor brush. There is no right way to do this, so feel free to try out the strokes of your brush. One major thing is to decide the direction for the light from the beginning. That's where the light is coming from and the opposite direction will be where the shade and shadows are located. For this drawing, I decide the light is coming from the top left corner. So all the shadow and darker shades will be located on the bottom right corner of the objects. You can use smudging and erasing while figuring out the spread of the color according to the direction of the light. I am using the same watercolor brush for the smudging and erasing. I continue selecting, painting and smudging throughout the drawing with this light direction in mind. When the watercoloring part finishes, I start adding darker shadows with the hard edge watercolor brush using black color. These shadows will add a slight 3D effect into the plan drawing and elevate our understanding of the objects with different height levels. In this process, I am smudging and erasing the excessively dark or hard edges in order to fit the watercoloring look we are going for. I continue throughout the drawing like this, while also fine tuning some parts until I am happy with the watercolor look. And this is how you create this hand-drawn plan with watercolor effect. Once you are happy with your plan, go to wrench icon and tap the share menu. Here you can choose the format that you want to export your drawing into. Do not forget you cannot resize your work at this point. As Procreate is a pixel-based program, the canvas size we chose at the beginning will directly be the export size of our drawing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions.